Tonight, parents in the Valley go through a simulation meant to get them frustrated. Welcome back. I'm Connor Ward. And I'm Chase Gallimore. It's all to help understand how their children's struggles are happening in school with dyslexia. Our Renata Di Gregorio joins us now to explain what it's like. Renata. Chase and Connor, like you said, the idea is to be frustrated during doing different exercises that involve reading and writing. It's how students with dyslexia feel, but the parents I talk to are making sure it does not hold them back. You turn your paper over and begin. Dyslexia is defined simply as the inability to read easily, but parents of kids at Randolph and Greengate School for Dyslexia say it's very misunderstood. They think it's a mental retardation or they think it's a physical thing or they think it's, and if they were here to see this, they would see no, it's not. It's actually, you know, different. This first public simulation involves stations where you have to read backwards or write without looking at it. It was difficult for me to even try to read and that's just because I've been reading for years and so I can just only imagine somebody who's never read before to even start to learn how to read, you know, visualizing how, you know, the struggles that she went through. I have a way better understanding. Experts say one in five people have dyslexia. Not related to intelligence. It is not a vision issue. But it can still be hard to catch. And all of our teachers missed it, even though we had excellent teachers. Marie Borland's daughter didn't seem to struggle at first, and her dyslexia wasn't diagnosed until the third grade. She actually would read at her grade level, but she would just not have the fluency. She wouldn't read as quickly. She would sometimes skip lines. You can see the parents here are frustrated. It's all part of breaking the stigma and understanding their child. Just don't give up and keep trying to find out what the problem is. Be the best advocate you can for your child. 